What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Moon. Welcome to the first video of 2015. Now, this is not the first video I wanted to do, but I just kind of wanted to go over what this year kind of might entail, what we're going to be doing last year, kind of wrapping things up. And I just kind of want to go through and uh, talk to you guys about that because I haven't really been making videos in the last 10 days. Um, I go on these stretches where I haven't really been making them in the last couple months and uh, for reasons, but... Uh, I've been scripting Universe Mode Season 2. A big question people have been asking me is, Tubby, hey, where is Universe Mode? And, you know, the honest truth is it's a series that I, I want to put a lot of effort into. I really want to work on it. So to do that, I have taken time to make sure instead of just going the first week, second week, whatever, I have gone through and have pretty much laid out the plans, kind of like how WWE should do it, but WWE can't because of scripts getting leaked. Like, you don't see Walking Dead release the first, you know, somebody accidentally leaked the spoilers for eight episodes. Like, they may have an occasional spoiler leak or something like that, but you're not going to go and fucking lose everything. Now, as far as um, what I'm going to be doing this year. Now, Universe Mode is a big thing that I plan on working on, and I really want to put an effort and work into that, but also, not only just that, but a big part of this has to come through and... It'll be me expanding out into stuff that's not only WWE, other stuff that's related to WWE, but in, a, in, a, in another way, like live action stuff. Maybe uh, it's one of the things we've been I've been trying to plot and work out and script and, and kind of do is kind of like a. I, I think I've saw one version of it, uh, and they, they filmed it on. I can't say it was the best quality, and I hate to like ream on you or anything, but like the, this this smart show. And, you know, I thought about, you know, doing the show with Not As Fan. Uh, I might be moving here shortly to go move and work with another YouTuber. I'm not going to say who. Those plans are still to be determined. They may or may not ever happen. And those are going to be the things that I really want to focus on. Because this year has been, last year, has been a really up and down hill for me. Because, you know, YouTube has been uh, kind of wishy-washy. And I, I, you kind of lose when you put in time and effort into a video and, you know, custom stories especially, you, you know, you can do those live comments or you get them done really fast, but then you go and fucking do, you know, universe mode that you put in so much time and effort into it and hardly makes anything back. And, you know, at a certain point I was like, you know what, I don't, I don't even care. I, I got to a point this year where, you know, I see a lot of other YouTubers just putting out content just to put out content. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially if that's what you are used to doing. I, I have a feeling like I want to go and do something better. So what I'm going to be doing is, you know, having normal, typical WWE news, stuff like that, my thoughts, opinions, and like a match of the day, Minecraft, something. We're going to try to have something at least every day. And then, you know, we're going to have like a video, like universe mode or something like that. That'll be, it'll be scheduled. That way you guys know when it's coming out because one of the biggest keys to growth is knowing when something is coming out, knowing to expect it. And that's not something I've, been a, I've done a very good job of. And that's why I'm really trying to do something different this year with um, you know, what I'm going to be doing with my channel. Not necessarily you know, stopping WWE because we're not going to stop WWE, but we're going to expand out and do other stuff inside the WWE realm that allows me to possibly, you know, have other opportunities because, you know, one of my biggest things that we have going on is, you know, we go to SummerSlam every year, but other than that, we really don't get to do much. And I think that's time for a change. So I'm hoping to work with some other guys, come together and try to, you know, group up and, you know, show companies that they can work with us, do all this other kind of stuff and, you know, really make content that's really good. Because I'll be honest, in 2014, besides Universe Mode, there is nothing I made that year that I was actually super proud of. And you know, that's one of my problems is from the time I started, I made videos that, you know, I knew how they gained the system, how they, you know, small system. We knew how it worked and we, you know, did whatever we could, made as much money as possible, did whatever. When I look back at those old videos, and I know that my audience loved them because my audience loved my opinions, they loved my discussions, that's why radio hosts, DJs, TV personalities, they just like the person, you know, that's why they do so well, but then for the person to watch, the person's just like, eh, I didn't really enjoy it. Now, there are some uh, things to that, you know, artists, movies, you know, directors, 
um, actors, they don't usually watch. Not, I mean, I don't want to say they don't usually watch, but a lot of them, you hear a lot of stories about how direct, uh, actors won't ever watch their own movie. They'll just move on to the next project because they take the life of a person and like they get into that character. So I, I was thinking about that, and I was trying to be like, okay, you know what? You know it'd be cool if we could follow around an indie wrestler. You know, I see a lot of these, and, and what I'm talking about, for those of you guys wondering, you know, tell me what are you talking about? What kind of videos are you talking about? One of the things Tony Pizza Guy and I did, and you guys saw the video um, a couple weeks ago, it had like 5,000 views. Some people thought it was a paid advertisement. If you think a, comp a beer company, first of all, that I really have no affiliation to other than the fact that somebody said Fulton was good, we go down to Fulton, and we're like, hey, we were on this uh, SFX, uh, uh, X <laughs> SXFT, I can't even say it. SFXT 2014 um, Summerfest Extreme 2014 and this this trip was supposed to be um, beers, babes, and like wrestling, like indie wrestling, like that kind of stuff. So now to do that, we want to and Tony and I had joked around about doing something like, you know hey, why don't we go around the country check out the best indie wrestling promotions interview the wrestlers, do podcasts shit like that, and basically just build up a company like that. Or not a company, but, you know, like kind of a production team type thing. Because that's the stuff I really would like to get into. I would like to get into more producing content and more content that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So, what I want to know from you guys, in your honest opinion, what do you want to see from me in 2015? What are the types of videos that you enjoy? What personally do you enjoy? Because I, I have a pretty big audience, you know, and I probably only have five, ten thousand 10,000 active people. And, you know, that's perfectly fine. But out of the people that I do have, what do you actually want to see what's the one thing that i can do this year besides universe mode um possibly having a gm or, or something like that that you guys would actually be interested in, in seeing i want to know what your guys honest thoughts are uh because right now my plans are to at least have a video a day with you know a match of the day or something like that and then have some other stuff that i'm not going to tell you about now because i've been working on it a long time hopefully come out so now in doing all of this i can tell you one thing it has kind of rejuvenated me, you know, being gone for 10 days. And, you know, it, a lot of people say, how can you get burnt out from YouTube? You literally sit and play video games. There comes a point when you just, there's just too much video games. And I've been there where I just don't want to sit around. I don't want to fucking play video games. And, you know, that's kind of where it got to this W15 because what's in the game is great. What's not in the game makes it a little bit harder. So a lot of my content this year are probably going to have to be older games. So if you have any custom stories on WWE 2K14 you want to see, things like that, I am going to be forced to become original. Basically, 2K took it out of our hands this year and basically gave us a game that, you know, there's some good shit in it, and I'm not going to lie. I enjoy the game, but there's some stuff in the game that really isn't YouTube-friendly. You know what I mean? So I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on where you think I can go, what you think I can do, and, you know, what you would like to actually see me do. Because besides the stuff I already do, and I can pretty much do anything, guys. We, we, there's talks about video editors, um, touring around. I, I still would love to do the whole indie thing. That's one of my biggest things, and I think that'll be a big one, is being able to tour the country. I, I think that would be a huge thing. I think I want to take a road trip with Tony this summer and just drive around, go to as many indie shows as we can, things like that that's what i want to do stuff like that so but that's not what you guys want to see maybe it is what you guys want to see that's what i'm trying to find out from this video so let me know in the comment section below guys what do you think what do you think i should do oh shit bray wyatt man bray wyatt just bray wyatt just came in like a wrecking ball he came in like a wrecking ball you see what i mean Bray, Bray, Riot, Bray Riot? Yes, Bray, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna, I've been playing too much Riot on uh, Call of Duty uh, S&D. So uh, let me know your plans for 2015, guys. Did you get anything good for Christmas, New Year? Let me know your plans, all that in the comment section below. And that'll pretty much be it for me. I just kind of wanted to, you know, make a long, just kind of talking, chatting, doing my thing type video. Dean Ambrose is gonna get a bullshit victory, I know. But that's pretty much it. Until next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching 2015. I'm going to make you my bitch. And uh, here's to you, Bray Wyatt. Here's to you, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, everybody in the WWE. Here's to a good 2015. All other YouTubers, anybody that's got a passion for something, keep going, striving, pushing. Do not give up on your dream. I didn't become a 170,000 sub channel overnight.
You can do it. If you want to do it, give it a try. But uh, what I'm going to do this year, I think you guys are really going to enjoy, and I think it might change up the game a little bit. So until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Bray Wyatt apparently is not very happy with Dean Ambrose. He wants to get up there and beat the shit out of him. Take a look. Yep, there it is. Bray Wyatt, kiss on the forehead, and lights out. Bray Wyatt, see you guys later. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you all later.